Good afternoon guys and welcome back to Garforth. Welcome back to Dave's Golf at his home golf club. So how are you doing? Very good. Yourself? Not too bad, you know. Dave's got his woolly hat on. It is rather fresh this morning. So we have come back. So we did run out of battery the other day. So we're going to continue the theme. But what Dave has just done as he's walking, well, as we've walked out to the eighth, is we've looked at a couple of flags. So we're looking at this one here, which is the 12th hole. So Dave's looked at where the pin is. So in a couple of weeks' time, you will see this hole. It might be a little bit more sunnier by then. And we'll see that Dave's already had a look at the pin. But today we're on the eighth. So the eighth hole here, right in front of us, is 365 yards, stroke index 12. So Dave will get a shot on here just gets a shot now with his new handicap we've got a bunker on the right there's also a bunker as i come round there's two bunkers on the left as dave has informed me so we're looking to split this fairway we're going to use the tee to our advantage like we have done in previous weeks we're going to get dave on the right hand side of the tee box aiming just the right of these ones on the left and let it fade back to the middle so Let's get Dave in here, a couple of swings to warm up, a loosener, he hasn't really had chance to do a warm up, but again, a cracking morning here for us. So as the mist clears, there's the second hole that we've already played a couple of weeks ago. So Dave's going to aim up the left hand side now, good practice swings, and again, get to that finish and we'll get this hole underway. A little bit of a drop kick there, but that's running good. It started on line. It's a very stiff swing to start with, but it's ran up just at the side of that bunker. So we'll get up there now and see what we've got in. So again, guys, remember, again, Dave didn't have time this morning, but a good warm up. We'll get plenty of swings in before you get out there because we don't want to be doing that on the first hole. It becomes a very long, long round of golf. But Things you've got to think about at this time in the morning, again, there's a lot of dew on the ground, so chip shots aren't going to be as stopping as quick. So we need to think about where your landing angle is. We're not going to get as much spin. We're not going to get the same kind of contact. So you've got to take that into account when we're out here on an early morning. So if you play early at the weekend, think about what conditions you are playing in. We can see Dave's ran up here. We can see Dave's... Uh, trolley track as we walked out here this morning so into the green it's a long way because that wasn't Dave's best drive so I can see the 150 marker just past Dave there so we're probably looking at 200 yards Dave's going to get a number on that now and again here you've got to think guys we're not going to probably get that much run today it is a little bit wet it is a little bit damp underfoot so we're going to have to be playing something that's going to carry a lot further than run so it's 186, Dave's getting a freshly cut green before we're hitting. So 186, we know for Dave uh, on previous videos, he's hitting his three wood around about 200 yards. So we'd be... Oh, so Dave's saying a, a good four rescue would get there, but like Dave just pointed out, it's cold this morning, it's not quite as warm as we want, so it's probably not going to carry as far. So we're going to go in with a three wood here for Dave. Because even a mistruck wants to still get there or thereabouts. And looking at the green, the trouble there is the bunker on the left and the bunker on the right. But if Dave hits it up towards the right half of the green, shouldn't reach that bunker. And then he's got all the green to work with. The flag was in the middle of the green. So got to think about that, guys. He doesn't want us to be aiming up the left. Because if he does hit it well, he's going to go straight into that bunker. The miss here is up the right-hand side as he has got more green to work with. So if you did see, Dave did clean and place. It is placing at this time of the year. A few worm casts out here this morning. So Dave's going to aim straight at the middle of the green. The flag is in. Um, it's just fallen over, I think. So great strike there from Dave. That's fading up the right-hand side. You can see that. Just don't go in the bunker, don't go in the bunker. Oh, you'll be close to the bunker. So great strike, Dave. Cheers. You were right. Good you start with the three wood. The four hybrid was never getting there. So if you are somebody, think about the weather in the morning. Think it's not going to fly as far. It's also not going to run as far. So club up. So as we walk up here, just short of the bunker. So like we said, 
I'm going to put the flag back in, but we said that short right or right of the flag, again, it hasn't reached the bunker. He would have reached the bunker on the left, would have Dave. So now he's got plenty of green to work with, but he's given himself the easiest chip. So again, previous to form, not his greatest drive, a good second, but we've got a good chance here of getting out with a par from a very poor drive. From back here, you can see Dave's got a lot of green to work with, so that's a benefit for us. He can get this running, so we're going to see Dave's not going to go with a wedge, he's going to go with a club that we saw a couple of weeks ago on one of his What's in the Bag videos, his four hybrids. So he's going to play this more of a putt. We're on the fringe here, he can get it just jumping over this fringe, oh, that way, just over this fringe and get the ball rolling to a freshly cut green. They must know who you are, Dave. No. Out of the show. Celebrity at the club, some would say. So, nice and tall with the shaft here. It's just like a putting shot, so grips down it. Gets that ball rolling. And again, Dave could stand here all day with his 56 and not get the ball closer than that. So, great shot, Dave. Still a chance up there. Still a chance. So, quick clean of the ball. Again, again good for us that the green has just been cut. So, no dew on the ground slowing this ball down. So, Dave's read this just outside the right. But again, a good performance. Not a great, obviously, tee shot, but he's just getting the ball round, thinking about the conditions and the three wood. It's got him close enough for us to have a chance, and Dave would get a shot. Oh, that's a great effort. So, just died at the hole. A good putt, a bogey there. But again, Dave gets a shot on there, so we've not lost anything. We're still three under Dave's handicap as it stands. Move. And a five after that drive. And a and a five after that drive. As Dave say, you would take that. You know, he's had a good chance. Maybe you'd like to have hold that, but we now move on to the hole here, which looks fantastic. 